Hi guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. Jason here bringing you today's video. My fuzzy co-star Freya is running around somewhere. I just heard her outside screaming into the ether, so I'm sure she'll be up here to dive on my face soon enough. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Just a small little family channel. We just love to talk about books and we'd appreciate any support you guys want to give us. If you'd like to talk about books, by the way, check out our Discord channel. I just created it. I put a link down below. Uh, so today, I want to talk about an author I believe I've talked about in the past. He's, he's a phenomenal author. I've reread all of his books multiple, multiple times, and I just reread uh, this one, and I, mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't put it down. I've read it so many times, but the writing is just so incredible. So I want to talk about the author Richard Steinberg and his book, The Gemini Man. So it's not quite what you may think for those of you guys that might be... Uh, thinking of, say, the movie um, with uh, with Will Smith or anything along those lines, uh, though it does have a couple of small commonalities, it's just, it's absolutely phenomenal. Of Richard Steinberg's books, all of which are amazing thrillers, this is probably, I mean, it's hard to say which one's the best. It really, really is. So, as always, I'll talk about the usual four things. Um, the world, first off, it's just our world. It's our world. Modern times deals with uh, um, the political aspects and, and military espionage stuff like that. I told you she died bomb me at some point. The uh, the character. So the character. This is despite being a thriller and having a, a decent amount of action in it. Um, this is definitely a character driven book. So the main character, Brian Newman. So. Brian Newman is a, a um, former military asset, I guess you could say. He was uh, a uh, basically a sociopath that was part of a program where they would take sociopaths and they would train them to to operate independently, to basically be like human guided missiles. That because they they don't have the same moral compass and oftentimes have extremely high intelligence. They could just, you, you could literally just point them at a target and say, solve this. And they were trained to, to solve it by any means whatsoever. So, uh, so that was, that was Brian Newman and he solved the issue that he was, he was sent to solve, um, many, many, many times. And his final mission, he ends up arrested. He ends up in a Russian deep prison, uh, that this book is really set in the eighties, nineties, somewhere right around there, uh, ends up stuck in a, a, a Russian prison, a Soviet prison and is eventually not released but more like prisoner exchanged in a way uh, given back to the Americans although he is such an incredibly dangerous individual they the the military doesn't want to just you know take him say hey thanks a lot pat on the back and send you on your way he's just he's he's too dangerous but he's also not technically a prisoner he hasn't committed any crimes outside of, of Russia, of course. In fact, he was doing exactly what he was ordered to do. Um, so he is he is taken and he is basically imprisoned in a uh, in a psychiatric institute, and that leads to the plot of the book. So the plot of the book is it's almost threefold. There's almost three things going all in parallel uh, to each other. And the first thing is the psychiatric institute. They have their civilian psychiatrists, who their entire job is to figure out Newman and they have different motivations for doing so. You've got the military side of things that really just wants to figure out if they can fix him, per se, well enough to cut him loose into civilian population or if the military just needs to cut their losses. And then you've got the civilians that are, are, are more interested in what exactly he is because, and they'll explain, there's a lot of psychology in the book that they talk about, but they, they can't, he's not actually a sociopath and they're not entirely certain exactly what he is and they're trying to figure that out they're trying to figure figure out exactly where he falls on the scale of various mental issues if it's something brand new undefined if it's just something inherent with him if it's actually a mental issue or not and uh so you've got that then you also have the military military side of things as they they are attempting to deal with with Newman and of course naturally he escapes and then they're, they're attempting to catch him while the psychiatrist is still trying to figure him out they're attempting to catch him and then the third track that goes along with it is Newman himself and his plans and what he is trying to do and what his goals are and whether or not he's actually the bad guy or a bad guy 
or not. And and it's it's very 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 interesting. It's it's um, I mean it's 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 hard to describe, but God, it's a fantastic book. All of Steinberg's books are incredible, from the Four Phase Man to Nobody's Safe, Gemini Man. They're just absolutely unreal great books. This guy is just an absolutely phenomenal author. So, guys, if you guys like thrillers, trust me, you, you, you will not be able to put this down. If you like to read Vince Flynn, Brad Thor, even mysteries, Robert B. Parker, things along those lines, Robert Ludlum, uh, Eric Van Lusbader, if you like those kind of, of, of books, like I said, the Bourne books, things along those lines, you got to read The Gemini Man. So after you guys hit the like and subscribe button, guys, go check out The Gemini Man by Richard Steinberg. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye now.